Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Could you please state your name? Larry Donnell Shipman. How old are you? 53. Could you state your address? 941 Mount Pleasant Avenue, Wayne, Pennsylvania. Okay. How many years have you lived in Mount Pleasant? My goodness, since 1961. So where where had you come from? St. Paul, North Carolina. Did did you you come from there? Your like your parents? Oh, uh, my mother. Mm -hmm. She was born there. My father's from Richmond. Well, my oldest brother Joseph and I were born, and Michael Rick and Valerie were born in North Carolina. Now, why did they come up here to Mount Pleasant? Uh, we call it the shipment disease. Really? <laughs> yeah, because when we grow up and get out of the house like you. You you just go off we, in so yes, many directions. Yes, yes, yes. That's too we funny. Live in, we live in Wayne. Mm -hmm. My brother Michael under me lives in Downingtown. My sister, one and only sister Valerie, lives in Ardmore. Oh wow! And so I you all live Ricky, really close. Yeah, uh -huh, but we're not close enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, could you tell me the names of your parents? Joseph and Fanny Shipman. Um, what was their occupations? Oh, uh, what was it? My dad worked for the township. He had his own business for about seven years, uh, garbage business. Here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like the landmark family around here has the bird. Right. And uh, that, you know, when that then, uh, I guess he sold out because we were young. And mm -hmm. then he went to the Radnor Township and worked there for the last 30, maybe 40 some odd years. Wow. Sure. We, out here, we just go do what we please. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of years, Sunday. though. Yeah. I don't know how anybody could, could do that for so many years. And, got that and what what about your mom? Did she uh, have a job? Mostly a stay at home and yeah, yeah, worked. Uh, she worked a couple jobs. Yeah, house cleaning and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm, but mostly like looked after you guys too. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, are are they still living? Yes. Do they? Where do they live? Uh, Nine thirty one. Oh wow. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so you see them quite often, do you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Not as much as I should, but you'll find that I'm like my dad, Joseph. Really? Yeah. <laughs> um. Do you do you have a job right now? Yes. What is your occupation? I work at um Conestoga. I'm a custodian. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wait. Conestoga High School. Yeah. I know a couple people. I know people who, you know that go to Cabrini that all go there. I always hear that name. Okay. Um, is that where? Where did you go to school? Where did you go to high school? Conestoga. You did yep. go there. Class of seventy-seven. Yeah. Wow. So you've like lived here like your, like your whole life. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Since I was three. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um. How long have you had that job? Ooh, last. This is my fifteenth year. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. I can't even. I can't even imagine. I've been working for four years, and I feel like that's that's way too much. Yeah, the truck driving job was something. But I had that one for twenty one. Really? Yeah. So you, where did you say that you had that truck? Like, where did you drive? Uh, from uh, Conshohocken down the street on River Road all the way to New York. I had like um, sign out hospital hospitals all through New York, mm -hmm. Pat Yard, Hog Hog, and all the way up to the Apple Country. So what did you? What you used to like? You delivered things or? Uh, yes, and picked up. Oh mm -hmm. wow. Yes. Yes. Um, you don't want to hear the other. One. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, are you? Didn't you... Eat lunch yet. <laughs> are you married? Yes. What is your wife's name? Donna Beth. Schiff. What does she do? She Vanguard. I forget her title. No. <laughs> titles. Yes. Um. Do you have any children? Yes. How many children do you have? Just one. Just one. Yeah, a a guy or a girl? One. A girl. A girl. Yeah. What's her name? Jessica Lane Shipman. Wait, did, oh, and she lit. Does she live around here or? Yeah, she's up at Harcum. She's a RA. She graduated. Oh today. wow! Yeah, what was it? Two years, three years ago. Oh, so she. What is she like? Twenty. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yeah, that's how long we've been married. She said, "If you ever forget, just remember." Years. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah. I'm an I'm an only child too, so I know I know how that is, right? <laughs> yeah, she is I, like you, independent. <laughs> I love being an only child. I would never want to share my things. <laughs> Jessica's the same way. <laughs> um, so you you said she just graduated. Does she have a job now? Or? Yeah, she works with my code. Oh, good gracious. Uh, Wells Fargo. Man. Oh, does yeah. she? Mm -hmm. Is she a bank teller there? Yes, she is. Wow. Uh, right uh, over at Villanova on their second floor campus. Oh, no And way. two other spots. Oh, wow. Uh, the one at 320 and I think the one up in Route uh, Wynwood. Oh, wow. That's okay. a really she convenient. Worked. That's like, mm -hmm. that's close. It's good. Yeah, that's, that's what we said. It's great for her. Yeah, right? Um, did you go to any more schooling after high school? 
No, uh, 12 years was enough for me. 12 years uh, was enough. Military <laughs> man. <laughs> military man. Did you, you went to the, you went to the yeah. military? Mm -hmm. Wow. When, what did you, what brand? Uh, 64 Charlie, I was a truck driver. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, half my family's truck drivers are farmers. So. Wow. Uh, That's few crazy. few doctors and lawyers in there, too. But. Oh, my gosh. So, like, did your, did your dad, was your dad in the military, too, or? No, he was, no? I think him and uh, the last two brothers, Uncle Jerry and Uncle J.D., were not in the military. No. Yeah, because they were from a big family of twelves. So I think mm. something about the yeah exempt thing or something. So, do, so you have a really you have a really large family. Yes. And do they all, do they like all live around here or do you oh, live no. like somewhere else? We're, like I said, we're spread out. Wow. <laughs> we're spread out from wow. Let me see, uh, Georgia, Little Cross, Georgia, uh, all the way up to uh, my goodness, what's that part of town right off White Off Heights, New York? Brooklyn, yeah, Brooklyn, wow. somewhere in Brooklyn to uh, the other side of New York, up 81, oh my goodness, oh, it was Buffalo. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're, we're everywhere, wow. up and down 995, it's hard to say, Richmond, but North do you, Fork, go ahead, do you, do you like, like, living here, though? Like, you oh, lived yes, here. we moved, yeah, I grew up here, and Don and I moved back here. We love this. I, I love it. Donna loves it because of the schooling and everything. Mm -hmm. And it's peace and quiet because Donna came from, she's from the city. Yeah. So, yes, uh -huh, I love it. We moved back here. Wow. Do you, mm -hmm. wait, so what school you do, kind of, kind of, so is that the, like, if people, that, if people lived here, is that the high that's school? That's the high school, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. When I grew up, we had uh, three elementary schools down. Stratford, the one right up uh, Old Eagle School Road, you mm -hmm. know, we going that way. Yeah, that was our but the first school was right here, I was told. Uh, at this building here, it used to be Hungerford. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. wow. That's where my, if my dad attended school, that's where that's he what, went. That's where yeah, he and went? Yeah, and then they went to, uh, Connors, I mean, Stratford School. And yeah. the, it got shut down? Is that mm -hmm. what you said? Uh, you know, the population kind of died off. Wow. Yeah. Wait, so is Connors still, like, I've never been there. I just, like, heard the name. Is it, like, a big, is it a big school, a it's small school? It's a big school now. Really? <laughs> yeah, with all, I mean, they enlarged it, like, a, 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 a half a school. Is it, is it because they, like, brought more towns in, or? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, what was it? Uh, Vanguard, a lot of the big companies around here moved in, brought in a lot yeah. more people, yeah. Really? It was, so it wasn't, it wasn't that big, like, when you were here? It was a big school, but no, it was the same size as Radnor and Lower Marion, was considered a big school. Mm -hmm. Is it considered, like, a, like a, like a really good school? Oh, yes, or? yes. It I, is? Yeah, we were, they were number one for a while, and I think we were, like, number three back in the 70s. Wow, three yeah, because I, yeah. I feel, I feel like, um, because we, we like to talk about, like, all, like, the, you know, like, the high schools around here and how some, like, some, like, don't receive as much money as, like, other schools oh, and stuff. Yeah. And then <laughs> I, I feel, I feel like that yeah. was the name that, um, Dr. Mm -hmm. Schwarzy said that was the, yeah. like, the biggest, like, the best school. So, yeah. is, is it really close here? Yes. Uh, we're, we're <laughs> Radnor's, the Radnor's the closest, kind of still another five miles up the road. So, but you, you lived in, in Mount Pleasant, like, when you were young, yes. younger, too? Yes, so I did you the whole, go ahead. How did you how did you get to the high school? Did you walk or did you? No uh, bus. You at, oh, yeah, you took a bus. Time, yeah, at that time we had the train uh, to different East Town bus drivers instead of the outsourced. Yeah. Yeah, drivers we have now. Oh yeah. well, that's good. As long as you didn't have to walk. Yeah, you knew who the mother was. Yeah, right. The bus. Yeah, you knew to be quiet. <laughs> that's good because I, I had to walk to school. I had to I had to walk like two miles to school, right, for middle school and from high school too. So my legs were in shape. Let me tell yeah, you. Well, that was like Earth Day for us. Yeah. We got to walk to school. Yeah. That's like the only the only <laughs> day. Uh, the only day you could really be late without getting fucked. Yeah, there. right. My town is um my town's only two two square miles big. Like I have like a really like. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a close knit town. Like everybody knows everybody, and like that's why my mom's like, Becky, I'm not driving you to school. You better walk your butt all the way down there. I used to walk when I was when I went to school here. You better walk too. And I said, Oh man, I don't want to walk. So there far. you go. Right, I'd be such a baby about it. That's okay. You know what you want. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you guys? So do you know like a lot of people like on your yeah, street? Yes, just about everyone except. I do know everyone, but you know these days everyone's so busy and hours are different. I don't. I'd say about six or seven families that I really haven't talked to. Right. Yeah. Do you um do have they lived here like a long time or do oh, you see yeah. people like moving like moving in like frequently or Yeah, uh, the last five years besides the college kids I think four families, if not five, moved in. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Are like are other families like moving out or is it just that uh, most of the ones that are moving out are because the parents died or, you know, it's right. time to 
move on because this is a little boring, sleepy neighborhood, mm-hmm. which I love. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you, is that what you like about it? Is that yeah, like the best thing about it? Just yes, quiet? Be peace and quiet. When the sun rises, the kids play all day, have a good time. Yeah. The sun goes down, the noise goes down. Well, where do you, where do they, because I've seen, we, we obviously took the walk and I saw that, you know, the huge, um, it was not, not landfill, but it was just like that big lot that was down there too. Oh yes, that was a house there. Yeah, I heard, Mm -hmm. I heard that there was a house. So why, do you know why they, why they knocked it Uh, down? Older and, uh, I forget, a a lady had bought the property Mm -hmm. and the house was better torn down than, you know. Well, because I, I feel I feel like Barbara had told us that it's but this big empty lot's kind of like a new like a nuisance. Yes, now. that one is. Yes. So, yes. like, can you tell me about that? I don't really know much about uh, it. Like, what is what, why is it such a pro? Why is it such a problem? Unkept. And just you know the new from all the uh, building going on, we get skunks and all that good stuff. Little minor things. Mm-hmm. Uh, Foxes that we're never used to around here. Yeah. That kind of stuff. But mostly um, unkept. Wow. And you would have to talk to uh, Miss Cynthia about that. Yeah, because she... Yeah. Th- and, cause and, and my wife, Donna, because that's her... Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's their expertise. area of expertise. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, because we're block captains and what, her what, thing. What does that mean for that you're the, the block oh, captains? Uh, just like uh, there's a problem... They call us, we check it out, like, when it's a little too rowdy with the college students. Mm-hmm. Uh, they either, you know, they call Donna and we call the police, or they handle it themselves by calling the police. Mm-hmm. But most of them notify us Is it, about um, the situation. Do, like, are they, like, because I've never, the only time I've ever been down here is when, when we went, um, when we took the walking tour, and I didn't see, I didn't see any college college kids or do they like throw like a lot of parties and stuff like that or they yes, are there like did, a lot of people they did at one time now it's curtailed because it got out of hand there's nothing wrong with a party but mm-hmm. in since this neighborhood i grew up you have your parties in the afternoon yeah when the sun goes down noise goes down but you can still yeah you know have a good time right and seeing the world we're 21 plenty of bars and clubs mm-hmm. to go to. so that's the way it's been but now a lot of the Young ladies are coming back home or just having their babies and their infants and you've got the good old yeah. <laughs> rock and roll going. Right. I think yeah, it's, it's just a little too noisy yeah. around one or two o'clock in the morning or right. even twelve thirty. It's like it's just like that college yes. thing. Um, and it's just nothing against it, but it's just too loud. And but there's just like yeah. a there's just like a time and a place and I guess it's That's just it. and this is why you guys are just having so so many problems, right? Just because from what I understand, because like I said, Donna's the front person, I just do the recording mm-hmm. uh, a lot of drunken rowdiness which is cool too but the drunken part you gotta remember you don't live here yeah you, know, you don't live in the house keep your mouth shut enjoy yourself yeah it's all the it's all the people that actually mm-hmm. probably don't live there that yeah. are really like what causing is, the problem it's normal because you get oh i'm a law student in villanova and okay pal we still don't warn you at this point in mm-hmm. time move along the old jedi mind trick yeah, so are they, like, do they, I've heard that they've left, like, like a lot of trash, too, like, Oh, outside. yes, yes, yes. But that's mostly the homeowners more mm-hmm. than wow. the uh, students or so, as hmm. far as the trash pickup goes. Wow. Um, so do you, but do you know anything about the renters that live, or is that, like, the only house on the street that has renters? The one that's right, it's right next to um, Mrs. Bird's house, right? One. Yes, one. I think they're the worst this year. Really? <laughs> the house right here, uh, the second house next mm-hmm. to the Harris's. Uh, one more, two more houses down. But I'm not sure about the one house. I think a family moved into it. Oh, but yeah. like the two next to Barbara and this house, I think there's five here now. Wow. Because a couple, I think, families moved into from being for the college students. Now they're renters or rent the owner. They're buying. Yeah. It yeah. Is it just is it just recently that they've so, started? Like, there's more buildings like coming up. Like, did it just used to be just like one rental, and then like there started to become uh, more? When or? we first moved here, there were like three. Really? Uh, they were over on Fairview, the two top houses. Yeah, I think I, I yeah, think I heard yeah. over there. Yeah. Uh, one, yeah, those first three houses were used to be the college houses, and the one in the back. Uh, other than that, they were all residential homes. Wow. Families lived in them. And it was all people that you, all people that you knew. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was, were, the were, they, were they people, like, did they live here when they were younger, too? And it was kind of oh, yes. like, they just, they keep staying. That's yes, how my neighborhood yes, is at home, yes, too. Yeah, grew up second, third, fourth generations. Like, the home we live in now is fourth generation home. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was told that the uh, Reverend uh, built this home. Wow. You know, we're trying to keep it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, right? Try yeah, to preserve it. Exactly. But w which house did you did you live in growing up? The house that we first, uh, the two houses we grew up in on Fairview are torn down now. Wow. Uh, William and um, uh, Margaret Land used to own, the, but we used to move in the apartments when we first moved from Philly back here in 62. Mm hmm when we first started school out here and then we got older and my father's job got better we moved into a house where the new home is now at 969 i'm not sure that's the same address mm -hmm. and we grew up there from what 63 to 78 mm -hmm. and then i was in the military at that time because i graduated 77 then my father and we all moved up nine uh 31 where you where sharon goes to do, see my father all yeah, yeah yeah uh, wow yeah, right there yeah did so do you are a lot of these houses getting knocked down like all the time oh, no, uh -uh. No, no no just the ones that sell out and the ones that haven't been lived in either. yeah it's just because like yeah. i've seen like the empty lots and like i heard about um, Maisie B. Hall's yes, house, I yeah, guess. Yeah, that was bought out, too. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you, because I forgot <laughs> about that part of town. Yeah, All these are recent. Because that, that's why I was saying, I was like, wow, is, are they just trying to, like, what I would, you know, just originally felt that they were just trying to knock down all, the, you know, I just felt like all these houses were getting knocked down that I thought mm -hmm. that they were just trying to knock uh, them all down. We know uh, land, a contractor bought those homes, the homes that, where we grew up, the first house we lived in. Mm -hmm. uh, the halls... Uh, the Thurgood, Major Hall, and um, uh, the Lands Home. Wow. Yeah, the, uh, the, a contract bought all that property. Wow. Except for the last three houses you see on. Yeah, that was a thriving neighborhood. <laughs> that used to be called Black Bottom because that's where a lot of the kids. I Actually, I lived on all three. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that's where everyone I lived on. You get in, around, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, That's I really love funny. it around here. Some of us do, most of us don't. Few feel stuck, but I don't feel stuck. I love this area. Wow. There's nothing like it. Is it just because, like, I, like I definitely, I definitely agree with you, but I guess it's just, like, other people who don't live, like, in, like, a neighborhood like that? Because my house, like, where I live, my houses are really close together like this, too. Like, mm -hmm. I don't really have, like, a backyard just because, like, we live, you know, we live on such lo tiny little streets where our houses are, and we know everybody. But some people don't, un they live in, you know, big developments, or they have these huge backyards, and, like, they don't see their neighbor, you know. Mm -hmm. But, like, what do you like about living in, like, a small, just because you know people here, or? That, the peace and quiet, and, like you said, your friends, they all know you, and. When you sitting up front, I can go in the back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a country boy. I love my backyard. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of little things together because, uh, what do you call it, comfort? Yeah, I was just going to say that. if we grew up together, we'd be doing just this. Mm -hmm. you know? And a lot of my friends that I grew up with, they're coming back home now. So. Wow. Yeah. That must be that must be nice seeing them after. Yeah. Oh my goodness, yes, yes, yes. Because <laughs> a lot of the teachers that kind of still are married to my friends I grew up with that I couldn't wait to see for years. No way. Yeah, because they're they're like brothers to me. You know, mm -hmm. they're great. Wow. They're really great to live in this area. Wow, that's so funny. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. So, do you think do you think like the demographic has changed over the over the years? Like, do you think there's definitely become like way more renters in this neighborhood than than there used to be, or that there that there yes, should be. Yes, most of it because of the, the college homes, but, but the majority still, uh, it, it's very small. I think you can still count them on one hand or six. Yeah, I'd say about six homes uh, that are renters besides it X out the uh, college home. Yeah, so do you, yeah. do you think there's like more new people like the renters and I guess like the new families that are that are moving in than the people who have been here uh, for years? Three of the new family I know are homeowners for sure, right off the bat. Yeah. Um, the rest, I'd have to talk to Donna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, out here, Donna found out the hallway. It's all still an old, slow, sleepy town. When it's a man, they do business with me. Yeah. <laughs> and you're the woman you're supposed to be. I won't say you're the kid yeah. here, but you don't do business with the men. Right. That's all. It's just very... Straight up and down, right. black and white. <laughs> That's um, another reason too. Do you think have they like besides like the like the noise and stuff? Have they like affected your life at all? Like the renters, like do you wish that they like 
they weren't here, or do you think it'd be it'd be easier <laughs> if they weren't here? Like, no, you... no, I'm not like that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> as long as they, every neighborhood has its rules, mm -hmm. and most of it's gospel. Bye bye there. Everything's fine. If not, right, you get what we got. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> A little too noisy. Tradition would come in. Underage drinking, take your keg. Back in our day, it was keg party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they would just come in, bake the tap, run it out. Oh, you're Joe's boy, you're Henry's boy, oh, you're Margaret's son. Yeah. Half of half of them were bird wind payoli. They would follow them home. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, or the parents would come pick you up. Right. And use them. Um, Life is beautiful the next day. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Um, how do you, like, obviously, like, your parents are still here, too. How did, so they like living in Mount Pleasant, too? Oh, yeah. Uh, they're both country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I should say, it's country southern, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, because it's still the peace and quiet. Uh, my dad, Richmond, he was, like, on the outskirts of Richmond. Mm -hmm. But it would be like, more like Ardmore, because it, before you get to this kind of suburban area. Right. Yeah, and what was it? His older sister, Aunt Mary, who named me. Really? <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Uh, she lived out in suburbs like this. Oh, and okay. Then my mother was, where was she? Uh, St. Paul, North Carolina. Oh. When my dad was like 18, mm -hmm. uh, he used to, he had a moped. And he would ride it from Richmond to Carolina to see my mom. No way. Yes, yes. How far away is that? Uh, about 300 or something. Oh, my yeah, goodness. Yeah. Well, he, had, he, had, he had his brothers down there also. Yeah. Mm. How did how did they meet? Do you know how they met? School. Oh, th what's, yeah, what I, school? I, uh, wow. I think it was St. Paul Bulldogs. I'm not sure the name of the school. Wow. Yeah. Uh, before we moved up here, I was kindergarten. Wow. Yeah. So they, they met each other when they were like when they were young, young too. Yes, yes. Oh, that's, that's cute, nice. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now how did how did you and your wife meet? Uh, I was driving trucks. I was living down in Tanglewood apartment. Make a long story short, because I can drag them. <laughs> uh, about three weeks of trying to get me up to come out. My friends, because they like to say they were finally coming home. They said they used to come get me. It took me three weeks to get me up and out. And then I finally got out. And a friend of mine, Mark. Uh, up the street, uh, used to pick him up and drive, driving there, and uh, you know how you get out the car and like shaking off that last stretch. So I see a young lady get out the car, <laughs> and she's like, "I'm way up here at this end mm -hmm. of the parking lot, the last parking." She was down at the very first. So I was like, "Wow, look at her!" <laughs> <laughs> and then by the time she disappeared, it's like. <laughs> She's mine, <laughs> and then I find out you know she was dating a couple other guys, which is cool because at that age we're all yeah, right. our royal loots, you know. Just waiting for your turn, yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. Three years later, the opportunity came, but other than that, it was a few months, but a few years became you know we got married, we married twenty four years. Wow, yeah, twenty four years. Mm -hmm. I think my parents have been married twenty five too. I guess that, I guess that makes sense too because like like your daughter and me are almost. I'm twenty, mm -hmm. so like we're almost like the same age too. Oh, right. Not yet 21, right? I thought you were younger. <laughs> I did. I thought you were about 17, 18. That's why I was going to say freshman. So yeah, right. no. I'm 20 oh, years old. Yeah, I'm so close. I got, I got a couple more months. I'm just waiting. <laughs> That's it. It's great, though. I'll tell you, you won't regret anything. Um, so I'm just so happy being 20 because I don't like saying, Becky, how old are you? 19. Yeah, oh, tell like, us about it. What? I do not want to be a teenager. Uh, so I can just say, I'm 20. I just leave it at that. <laughs> and they give you that respect to, oh, can't call her a little girl. Yeah. Right. <laughs> She's not a teenager. She's a young woman. So how old were you guys, how old were you guys when you got married? 29. 29? 28, 28, 28. Because we got married in 87. Jessica was born a year after 28. Wow. I feel, I feel like my parents are just like on the same track <laughs> as you two. Because I feel like they got married when they were 27, 28. And then they had me when they were like, thir you know, like 32 or something yeah. like that. Wow. It's really funny. You guys are like twins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great, though. It lets you show you're on the right path. I know, yeah. and it's it's weird too, just because like you have an only you have an only child too, and so mm. do we. Did you did you always want an only child? Did you want no, like a big family? Uh, Donna was like her mother. She couldn't hold them past the. Uh, fourth and fifth month yeah i think yeah. i think that's what happened to happened to my mom too so did you yeah, want like a big a big family like, oh yeah <laughs> it's good that you yes, do have a big yes, family though yes. now we, you know we wanted at least five wow but if they were all born we'd have had nine. Oh my yeah, goodness we had sets of twins and, wow yeah so that's a lot of kids <laughs> <laughs> but that's i love them i do i love kids they're great <laughs> 
um, what are some things that, like, you remember, like, gr- growing up here? Like, you had, I had reminded you of, like, Maisie B. Hall. Like, could you, like, tell me, like, about her? Like, did you, you knew her when you were a little yes, younger? Yes, Oh, she was always a very busy woman, very nice. Uh, she taught substitute, uh, she taught me about five times from elementary to junior high, in oh, seventh really? grade. Wow. At Valley Forge, when it was called Valley Forge Junior High, now it's Valley Forge Middle. Mm-hmm. And... Basically, wow, I mostly read, I've been to her house mostly, but my timing was off like everyone else. Like she was always busy or yeah. had company, yeah. A couple times, read, you know, reading, help you out with your reading, math, arithmetic, she was always great about that. Wow. And very lovely lady, that's so about she all t- I can say. She yeah. tutored a lot of kids oh, here yes, in the town? Yes, yes, yeah. taught a lot of them, yeah. Wow. Even some of the few that are older than us, you know, in there. Let me see, we're 53, you know, the ones that are at least 65. Wow. Yeah. And she um, she lived in that house, like, her whole life, yeah, I guess? Yeah, as long as we lived out here, that's where she's been, yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, like, did your your parents knew her? Your oh, parents yes, were, were yes. friends with her? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's great, though. That's that's, the, that's what I love about Eric. Like, yeah, oh, right? You. <laughs> I, yeah, I definitely know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, do you, have you ever talked to any of the, any of the renters that live there? No, I haven't. No. No. Uh Uh-uh. Because, you know, I'm all, like we said, we're always busy and I just got on the day shift Mm -hmm. and everybody's busy anyway. And mostly the women still like talking with the women more than the guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that I'm not going out of my way to say anything to him. It's just you just never. Yeah. It's just it's just never the time. Like exactly. You never see him. Uh huh. I will see him when it's time for maybe all day, or going up to watch the fireworks at the Fourth of July here at the military camp. Mm-hmm. And that's about it. You know, hey, how you doing? Life is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You know, kids are acting crazy. Right. Same old story. Not really same old story, but yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you how do you feel about like can you tell me a little bit about like cuz this the demographic and just how like this this like neighborhood is set up just how like you know everybody it's like I feel like it's quite different from you know just like Radnor you know just real mm-hmm. close like it's just it's yeah. just different like Most, how do you They're tight knit mostly well the same area but religion <laughs> Yeah Yeah religion and Radnor you know a lot of Catholics and other than that their little circles, you know, mm-hmm. you've been around here to see each little circle yeah. that we don't fit into. Not to say it's race, but I'm talking about, oh, you know, they're the little rich kids. The majority of the old money is what likes us, mm-hmm. not the new money. And- Do you think that, like, race has, like, had, like, a factor, like, in, like, like the differences, like, between, like, you saying, like, how, like, there's, like, the close-knit kind of thing? Do you think that has, no, like, affected no. you? Uh-uh, uh-uh, just... The silliness of it all when we grew up, yeah. you know, the 60s, oh, I don't like you, black. Same with the goofy part was, same friends we grew up with in the next neighborhood, uh, a lot of them would be with their older brothers or cousins, and they would, like, ride to nigger, nigger, nigger. Really? <laughs> yeah, and like, come on, we know who you are. Yeah. So you didn't take it personal, just a little showing off. But, no, the uh, things around here, this has always just been a Republican area. Really? hmm Wow. Yeah, a lot more Democrats, but more independents are moving in as far as tradition goes, yeah. Wow. So, like, mm-hmm. like how was how was high school? Like, what was, were there, like, so, like, what, what years did, I can't, like, remember, like, figure it out. Like, what years were you in high school again? Uh, I was in Conestoga, 75 to 77. Oh wow! So like, were there were there problems like with race like in school like oh, differences? Oh no. no, just nonsense as usual. Just kids being kids. No, no, no one running around. We didn't even have graffiti at that time. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, because we all come to my house, eat dinner. Oh, okay, you go to your house, eat dinner, spend the night, spend the night. Mm-hmm. That kind of stuff. Yeah, I feel... No, no, it's always there, of course. Like, one parent would like you, like, the mother would like you, and then the dad's like, ah, what you doing in my house? Mm -hmm. Then the vice versa, the dad would like you, and the mother wouldn't like you. That's all little... Yeah. Everyday individual stuff. Yeah. Uh, Racism's everywhere, but it doesn't really jump out like this. Uh, I'd say if there was any kind of racism, it's less... What is it, seven, eight, nine years when they used to have the rallies at Valley Forge? Uh, part. What what rallies? Uh, the Klan rallies. They used wow. yeah. They got licensed. It never petered. I mean, petered out. It never amounted to anything because the church has all kept you away from it. If you wanted to go, you go. No skin off our noses. Wow. <laughs> we all live around here. 
So like it didn't like it didn't like aff- did it like bother you or? <clears throat> no, no, not, not at all. Not at all, because the majority of the people we let it go by you because that's not what this area is about yeah we've been together too long now that everything's changed like since we grew up in mm-hmm. the 70s and the 80s you have the ceos and their kids don't they don't want certain kids with them because they feel oh you're not in the same class as my child and oh. you got a lot of out of state Tennessee, you know, we're the eight-man football, mm-hmm. and we still have the big 11-man, and they think, oh, my child was a star, and you can't cut the mustard out of here. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you just can't cut the mustard if you're a four-man, an eight-man yeah. football team. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But we did have a lot of great athletes did from you? different states, yeah. Did you, did no you play any sports? It. Oh, I was too broke up by the time really? I got to high school, yeah. Knees. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Did you, like, did your family, like, play sports, like, in, Yeah, like... oh, the majority of the families around here, yeah. I followed my oldest brother's footsteps, football, baseball, wrestling, track. So yeah. what, what happened, like, you, you got, you got injured a lot, like, playing sports, and yeah. that's why? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. You're just a rough child? Played, that's it. <laughs> Played hard, lived hard. Yeah, I was the only one out of my brothers, from Joseph to uh, Michael, Ricky, and Valerie, that I was the only one that never got to get on TV with the pen relay. Really? I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my sister could outrun me. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's so funny. Mm-hmm. Um, your parents, do you think, like, your parents, like, experience, like, any, like, racism, like, around yes. here? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Do, are there any things that, like, you remember them, like, telling you, or, like, things you remember growing up that... You no, know, just that we're in a Republican area, we really didn't have to watch our mouth or anything, just didn't write any little bad words that we were all yeah. used to writing. No, not really, no. No? No, because adults, you know, you're the child, you didn't need to hear that kind of stuff. hmm Because even... When we were growing up, we had our cousins like uh, Albert and uh, Alfonso, known as Buckshot, were in the military. You know how they would all show it? Oh, I keep forgetting. They would show it on the news, uh-huh. and we'd be outside playing. Y'all go outside and play, mm-hmm. you know, because they didn't want us to really experience. And I'm not saying the neighborhood. I'm just talking about Joe and Fanny's kids. Yeah. Yeah, because we had a lot of cousins like everyone else in the military. Oh, okay. Thank God they all came home. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, you had, you had said, and like, obviously, like I know, but if you could like talk a little bit about, um, uh, Dr. Shorzy knows your father, right? How did, how did they meet each other? Do you know? I'm not really sure about that. Really? Uh, something about, uh, classes. That's all I know. And, and then they, it, she's been over there a couple of years because when she comes, we give them the peace and quiet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But what do they, do, what do they do? She, she tutors him in something? Yes, or? that's all I know. Really? <laughs> yeah, that's all I know, because when she comes, oh, uh, Shannon's here, it's like, oh, hi, nice to see you. Yeah, <laughs> leave them be, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Then yeah. when they would leave, we'd come back. Yeah, because she, she had told me when, um, when she was giving out, like, our, like, our people to the groups, that was the first thing that she had said, she had said, um, that she, she, like, knew, she knew your dad, and then you were, you were his son, and I was like, oh, okay, so, like, I know, I know, like, kind of, kind yeah, of who he is, you, just You know, you got people. two perspectives, his old perspective and the new perspective, that's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see, is there something like this? You did really well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's great for you, and that's all that counts right now. Okay. Oh yeah. Is there anything? Is there anything like in Mount Pleasant that like you want? Like you want to improve? Like anything? Like because I know they they were like doing like all the construction and yes. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And like, what about like that lot? Like, is there any? You know what I mean? Is there anything? That, like, do you wish that there were more people here? Do oh, yeah. You? We wish they would build back on them. Yeah, bring the neighborhood back up. Yeah, it kind of do, you know, it do, uh, can't you spit the word out, depreciate everything, the value. But other than that, same old air. It's a hot, hot bed for real estate around here. Mm-hmm. So has that, like, has that, like, affected you? Um, like, what you have to, like, because I know it's, it's now a new zone, right? It's like an, yes. uh, what is it called? Like an R... I don't know. There you go. It's like That's a, it. It's That's like it. Yeah. That kind of slipped my mind. Yeah, yeah. something uh-huh. like that. So has that? So what does that mean? That just means that like people could like start up businesses here, I guess. I think. I think you still need a bit uh, business. I don't think you can do that in this area. No. 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 I think you still need the space. But this is this is all family business since we moved around the birds. So yeah, that's the, bird, that, yeah. the birds business, right? Mm-hmm. So did mm-hmm. they? Do you know if they they had that when they were? 
when you were younger? Was oh, that there? Yes, yes. We used to work for them. Yeah. Really? Uh huh. Yeah. When we weren't working for my dad, we worked for them. Yeah. What did, What did you do for the birds? Oh, the trash. Help them with the trash, ride on the back, have fun. Really? Like, <laughs> little kids. Yeah. My neighbor Steph he used to work for him too. Wow. Yeah, he's a nephew of the family. Yeah. What did you? And you said you worked for your dad too. What'd, mm -hmm. you, what'd you do for him? Same thing. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. You had the four boys and a candy cane is the way he named labeled it. Really? Yeah. So, you know, when it's time to wash, our clothes were last. You know, growing teenagers, man, be nice and young ladies like Yeah. You, know, you can't go with smelly clothes. So <laughs> we used to get our bike. You know, after after my dad, we work with him. we get our money. First thing, right over here to Stratford to the laundromat, wash your own clothes. Because mommy and Jess, I mean, my mom, my sister Valerie, and my dad's clothes came first. Mm -hmm. Whether you had a date or not, you had to go. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to go do it independent that way yeah so other than that were you are you so what are you the oldest the youngest middle i'm the oldest now my older brother joseph died i was the second did you did you like being like the 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 older brother to like to like two younger younger boys and a younger sister too yeah <laughs> yeah because yeah, in those days we were young wild and crazy now we all have families you can't tell them oh i'm an adult now yeah I have kids. you can't tell me what to do that kind of thing. And with the uh, financial situation, we're all still tight family, but we're not close like we used to because of the finances and the economy of it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But were you, were you close with your with your siblings, like when you were growing up? Yes. You were? But when it came to parties, the age different. Really? <laughs> the age So what, what, what is the age difference? Was it, was it big? No, it's just that I could hang out with Joseph and my friends. That means... He went to tech school. I could go to Phoenixville because I was driving. Mm -hmm. As you notice, everywhere you need to go, you need to drive. Yeah. And that's all it was. <laughs> now we're not taking you. You're too young. Really? <laughs> You'll get me in trouble. <laughs> believe it or not, we still had a curfew. Really? And with my parents. Oh, yeah. Well, do you remember what your curfew was? When the, when the street light came really? on. Really? <laughs> yeah, because how can you go to a party that started at 8 and your parents are picking you up at 9.30? Mm -hmm. Oh, I took many a whoop. <laughs> I took it like Denzel in glory. <laughs> yeah. How was I was how else was I gonna learn to hold your hand and give you a nice little kiss? Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I took them. Took them like a champ. Wow. Well, <laughs> yeah. But that's like the same like it's when the street lights come on, that's like how it is, like where mm -hmm. where I am too, and I just feel like with the small neighborhoods that's just that's just how it's gotta be, you know? Yes, like indeed. Because at dinner time, uh, the park was right up there. We had the basketball court. That's when we had the center. Uh, family, the Williams family, its mothers used to ring the cowbell. Reggie, Ralph, and Mighty. Really? Yeah, you could hear it. Whether you were on the uh, towns and circle, the next neighborhood over, or you were pretty much in the first uh, over on uh, Ivy Crawl. Well, was, yeah, you could hear it. That's really funny. Uh -huh. And the rest of you just knew what time it was. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So you like did you had like a lot of kids in the neighborhood that like you played with? Mm hmm Just about everyone. Everyone to tell the truth. Yeah. Wow. Girls. And like yeah, what they, did you stay here or did you like were there like other places to go? Like you said a like, there was a park over there, is that uh yeah, uh Major Hall Park now it used to be just Mount Pleasant. And we also Valley Forge. Oh, we all love Valley Forge. That was a place to go see all your friends. Yeah. All your friends. And you saw like all your friends from from high school and, mm -hmm. and stuff like yeah, that, and like yeah. grade school. Mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, when we were middle school, get on your bike, just ride. Hey guys, we're going to Valley Forge for the time. It used to be a big thing for sledding in those days. Oh yeah. Yeah, you want to meet your friends? Go hey, go down Valley Forge Park. We all used to sled down the hill that you come right off twenty three. Wow. Yeah. That's like a, that sounds like a lot a lot of fun. Like it I was. Feel, I feel like I feel like sometimes like when people talk about back in the day, it was. It's much more carefree, I guess, than like it is now, yes. and it's more people are a little bit on edge and a little bit more worried about like their kids and stuff like that. Mm, that's the way it was. Do you wish it? Do you wish it was like like that? Like, uh, in a way, it's still like that, but not. No, nah. I wish it was still like that as far as the kids, because if we did anything wrong, break a window, don't think you got away with it. Yeah. A lot of time you go, oh, Mrs. Johnson called you and said you broke Mrs. You know, Miss Margaret, these are just the names of someone that broke her window and don't say you didn't do it because she's seen you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you still get that, but you don't get the, oh, hey, you know, your boy was over there being bad. Mm -hmm. I've seen your daughter with that older guy. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's just different. <laughs> it is. Um, now, I know, like, up there, like, on, on Lancaster, that's, like, a cute little, like, you know, 
not like strip mall, but like there's there's like stores up and down there. Mm-hmm. Did you was that there like when you were when you were younger? Oh yes. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. But a lot of them were the mom and pop stores. Oh yeah. The only one that's still there is what Wayne Sporting Goods. Uh, the big store used to be Woolworths. Oh, yeah, really? that was another story. Wow. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. When we started working with uh, the birds and my dad, mm-hmm. yeah, I'd get my money, go over there and buy me some shoes. <laughs> and, buy me some stuff. and we had friends that worked in those stores. I mean, mm-hmm. we didn't get anything free or nothing like that. But, um, did yeah, you... a lot of a lot of kids grew up and worked at a lot of the stores. Yeah, so do, did you go up there a lot? Like, what what were some of the things that, like, you did, like, when you were young, like, when you were younger? Uh, we'd all pool our money, grass cutting money, and used to have a roller skating ring around here when... Yeah, really? when roller derby was hot. That was another wow. nice place to go see your friends and meet new girls. Wow. And uh, the Devon Horse Show is still a big attraction. But it's not the tradition it used to be. Yeah. It took, I mean, boy, I'm, I did cry. Uh, when I was ready to go take uh, Jessica to the horse show, I don't want to go to no horse show, Daddy. <laughs> like, oh, you're killing me. As far as traditions around here. Yeah. Yeah, but she finally went, I think, two years ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. And uh, what else did we have? We, around here, as you see, we had hills when it was rain. We, when we heard it was rain, uh, Jack and Jill come by and we just get popsicle sticks, the old glue them together. Yeah. We glue the army men on, <laughs> on, on the end. Float them down the hill. You know how the water runs down the hill. Yeah, and that's a, it's, um, it's a really steep hill over there, yeah, too. Henry, yeah. Um, we just throw dirt bombs or rocks at your <laughs> army man. Lose them down the drain, you lose them. Hey, just make time, another one, right? Yeah, go right over Wayne Toy Store. Get you another pack. I think it was a dollar or 99 cents. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's too funny. Uh, Did you guys used to like race your bikes down yeah, on that hill too? Yeah, go karts, everything. Yeah, I feel like that's so day. dangerous though for how steep that hill is. Like, <laughs> oh, we got the marks to prove it. Oh my goodness! No brakes or the brakes would fail. Because <laughs> you know, in our time, uh, when hot rods were happening around here, as you say, uh, was it Don for Dome in the gang? And really? Yeah, we'd all. Some of us would make the go karts, and you'd have the so-called parachute wasn't them but a uh, tablecloth <laughs> <laughs> or a curtain <laughs> so you did you used to make your like make your own mm-hmm. that that's was why like... you've never seen any ba- baby strollers or hot wheels around here in our day really? <laughs> yeah they were gone you mm-hmm. wow you just wait till nighttime hey somebody had to tear it in <laughs> wow yeah, yeah. and d- did you and all, all your friends do that or oh, yeah. and, like, your, yeah. your brothers and sisters mm-hmm. and stuff? yeah and just about everyone that grew up around here Wow. Yeah, sledding was the thing around here, too, to get the young adults out of here. Yeah? Uh, yeah. You're running down the hill, and then they ah, jump out the driveway, jump on you. I'm too scared yeah. for that. <laughs> oh, you would really be scared back in the day when Fletcher. Was, the next road over? Uh-huh. That's the steep one. And you used to go on that all the oh, time? Oh, <laughs> all of us. <laughs> Until um, they start plowing it. Yeah. It got kind of dangerous, because that was a busy one. Wow. And it would come right down into a busy street. Yeah. Yeah, you start run, 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 run about 50 yards and then hit the sled and you go down and then you hit the uphill, get up, run, 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 and it would take you all the way down. <laughs> and you really had to show your skills. Like yeah, you had, you had to have a little bit of talent yeah. to do that. A couple guys got lucky, I'll tell you. They couldn't stop it and they got through before the car. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that kind of fun. We had that kind of fun. I wish we still did stuff like that. Same, same. We got no, we have no time for it, all that. I feel. Mm-hmm. And even, <laughs> even the plow, as soon as the snow, they're on you with the brine. You can't get any of that stuff anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about now? Does your does your daughter like living like around here too? Does she? Yeah. Does she yes. have the same thing? Does she want to? Do you know if she wants to like live here? Like we're not like in this house, but like live in the in, area. Yeah. In this area. Uh, in the area. Uh, anywhere between where she is now. Between Woodwood and Paoli. Yeah. Yes. Yes. She just likes the like the small neighborhood mm-hmm. like me too. Because she's, yeah, like you said, she's the only child in back. And she wanted to go, and, and you know how you, you and your girlfriend's father, you want to get a big house. And mm-hmm. it, but there's always two that don't want to cough up the money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so she backed out of that. Yeah. Because she knew which two wouldn't cough up the money. Yeah. Exactly. I was going through, I was going through that same problem too, and I ended up not, everybody, my, it was me and, me and it's five of us all together mm-hmm. and my four friends wanted to move off and I wasn't I didn't know they wanted to move off so quickly like I thought we were going to wait till next year and they were like no we're going to do it now and I was like 
oh, okay, well, the thing is, it's it's driving, you know? Like, yeah. you, I, I, I told you, I work all the time, so I'd have to drive, I work at the mall, so, like, I would have to, I would have to drive to the mall, I would have to drive to, sc- I would have to drive mm. to school, try to find a parking spot, drive to the gym, I go to the gym every day, too, and it's, like, it's too, it's too much, and I feel like I have road rage anyway, so it's, like, if I have to find a parking spot, like, five times a day, mm. like, that. It's not even worth it. You got it in the road rage. That's like normal around here. And it's not just grandma and grandpa anymore either. I feel like it's the PA people. <laughs> yeah, that too. And, and you notice they'll talk to you, but they're looking at you in the mirror instead yep. of getting up the road. That's what I don't like. Like, come on. You want to talk? Give it to your girlfriend. <laughs> Get up the road. Because that's the way we do it. If I'm driving, Donna answers. That's why... No, I'm shotgun. No, you in the front seat with me. I mean, you change the radio, you answer the cell phone, you pay the tolls. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not doing any of that. Exactly. I'm You're just driving. driving. Thank you. <laughs> Best place to be. <laughs> yeah. Same, nice. same. Yeah. Um, what else? Hmm. I don't know. We talked about a lot. I feel like we did good. Let's see. Let's see what our time is. Forty-five. We're great. We're coasting. That was fantastic. Let's just let's just make sure go over everything. Oh, so but your wife likes living here though too, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Let me see. She lived in the Logan section. It wasn't a bad section, but it was busy, noisy. Mm-hmm. She lived. Uh, was it? Just like over here, how we hear the trains all the time. Yeah. You hear Wayne Junction, and you hear the ambulance and the fire. Same thing with her, but she lived near Einstein. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it was like 24 hours. Uh, let me see. Only time, we lived in the city 18 months when we first got married, close to my mother-in-law. Because my brother-in-laws were moving out, and she mm-hmm. was by herself. And, uh... I never really heard any gunfire except for um, um, what that uh, New Year's Eve, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Never really seen anybody fight or, or that kind of stuff robbed. Our car got uh, robbed one time. Really? <laughs> they didn't take any money. They just took CDs. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so yeah, funny. Earth, was it Earth, Wind, and Fire in part of the <laughs> Uh-huh. I'm surprised that you that you even remembered what which ones got stolen, exactly. and you were able yeah. to find out which one. It's like what they yeah, broke in, I, but like what did know, they do? When you get out the car, you take your money value. What you leave your CDs and all that stuff right there. Wow. Yeah. Guess that's, that's so what funny. they wanted that's all, at the time. That's all they needed, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, money was right there in the ashtray. Wow. Well, like, Ooh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, my dad. My dad was telling me how um out in California his car got broken into, and he had um. A blue baseball mitt. It was like a royal blue baseball mitt, and that's them in a while. and that's the only thing. Wow. He, that's the only thing they stole out of it. And he was so Ooh. mad. He broke it. They broke into like he had like a Cadillac or something. Like he he used to like get like the old cars and like try to fix them up and stuff. And um, he took a road trip out there randomly by himself. He was a Looney Tune. I don't know <laughs> what he was thinking. He drives for a li- he just likes to drive. That's just okay. what he likes to do. But they that's the only thing they stole right out the back seat. It was just chilling there, and they they broke that back window and stole the glove. I haven't seen one of those gloves since 74 or 75. Right? Like, the blue no. is, is the royal blue glove. That's it? It just reminds me. Because two of my friends, I'm sorry, two yeah. of my friends had one. It's like, whoa. I know. Those are, the thing is that one, um, Pedro Martinez on the on the Mets, he has one too. And I said, that's so cool. I want a blue, I want a blue glove. <laughs> They were the only teams that I would actually go uh, to the uh, baseball stadium to watch. The Atlanta Braves and the Mets, because back in the 70s, 80s, they were hot. Uh, They would either clean our clock or we clean theirs. Do not (laughs) tell me. Are you a Braves fan? Nope. No? Nope. 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 Because you said said the Braves and I am a Braves fan. Okay. Ask me. No, no, no. no, You're fine. You're fine. (laughs) No, but I said, are you a Braves fan? Because, like, I'm from from Jersey and nobody's and they're like Becky why yeah. are you a Braves fan and I was like I don't know you recognize talent I was like just don't ask just don't ask me like I was a baby I was a baby and I was watching the World Series and I just hated the Yankees so oh, I was like yeah. I was like oh 95 96 let's just watch the you know I was a baby because mm. I just remember my dad always saying like I hate the Yankees like blah 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 and I said oh let's pick this other team and then ever since then I was just been 
Braves fan, yeah. Braves fan. But so you said you, that you like all the yeah, Phillies teams. Yeah, because I found out oh, going to Pittsburgh is too far to drive. You gotta come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and then you go to Penn State. Same story. Mm -hmm. You gotta come back. Right. That's a long drive from here to the to a Veteran Stadium here to the new stadium. No problem. Westchester, Cheney, those are all the colleges I attend. Villanova, yeah, yours back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you yeah, um, we used to walk into uh, just like the military academy at Cabrini because they used to help sponsor us, tutor us back mm -hmm. when the center was here, and um, we used to go watch the soccer and the girls. Um, but the guard stopped us whether we paid or not. Really. <laughs> yeah. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, because I feel like I feel like everybody down here even just likes like all like the the professional teams too. Like that's all that's all they like. Like if yeah. you're living here, you mm -hmm. like all the Phillies teams, and that like you really have like no other choice. <laughs> like from where where I am, I'm like uh, it's Jersey. So like you have the cho you have depending on where you are in Jersey, you have choice mm -hmm. of all the Phillies teams or all the New York teams, and there's right. like like nine of them. You know, there's like so many different ones, mm -hmm. and I just. I just chose not to pick any of them. I'm, just yeah, I'm with you because you know, like you said, we had two phenomenons. I wasn't too crazy about Colby. Basketball is cool, but his talent you can't take nothing away from. Yeah, him. I'm just not a fan of his. Mm -hmm. I'm a defensive guy. I like to see defense. I like to see more team play. Right. And we had a phenomenon that grew up here too, uh, Marcus Weeks. He went. He went to Virginia Cavaliers, and then he played for Seattle for a couple of years. And it was the same way. He was more personable, I guess, because I was closer to him, mm -hmm. too. But I'm um, not saying I knew him yeah. like that. Well, I'm in person because I've seen him every day, and I knew what was ailing him and what mm -hmm. that. And so that was the difference between him and Kobe as far as turning pros around. Him. Yeah. Goes. They both drew large crowds. Yeah, <laughs> right. Large crowds. <laughs> With Kobe, you, I mean, my goodness, he was like wrapped around the school just to see really? him play. Yeah. Wow. We, there was always droves of people that couldn't get in to see him. Wow. Now, I have nothing against it. <laughs> <laughs> He's his own man. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it is. I mean, what we're most proud of besides being homeowners and living around here is me personally and a lot of my other friends like to see a lot of people turn pro finally around right. here <laughs> regardless because uh the guy one guy was uh the uh oh man what's the shoot they shot the rifles mm -hmm. skeet shooters or whichever they were uh -huh. in the olympics wow in the last olympics yeah, no way. yeah. Uh -huh. he went around all the schools yeah it was great That's so that funny. well i love that kind of stuff i like the corny and the OG. Like, yeah um, people look at me and go, oh man you a thug you tough no. <laughs> no, just like everybody else, I enjoy a good time. Yeah. Uh, this, this this body came from lifting all the trash cans. Because <laughs> I don't really don't lift weights or anything like that. No. No, I just found out I got carpal tunnel. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's because I'm the only guy and it's time to move the furniture, that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. It just stinks mm -hmm. getting old, and make right? Make sure your husband does it too. <laughs> don't let him get away with it. <laughs> you should see all that you should see all the stuff that my that my dad does at at my house like my dad my mom um my mom they both they both work but like my dad does the trucks and then he'll come mm -hmm. home at like four o'clock and like okay. my mom doesn't come home till late at night so he's the one that cool. he, he cooks he cleans he used to drive me to school he irons my clothes for me Dad, I don't like what you're making for dinner. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, Becky. I'll make you something else. There you Dad, go. I'm rushing. Like I'm rushing. Can you can you make me lunch so like mm. I can go? He said, Yeah. What do you want? He <laughs> Here, Jessica. That's what right? I did. <laughs> he he wakes me up for wakes me up for school. I don't like when my mom wakes me up. She wakes me up and I get real cranky. I'm like, Mom, you get me so cranky in the morning when you wake me up. <laughs> Same with Jessica. She does. She does not like that. Well, with, 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 she is now. Mm -hmm. She's working and tired like you. Yeah. So you can understand that before. No. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you like? Do you like having a daughter though? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I didn't. You know, boy, man, I'm a man. I'm supposed to have a boy. Heck no, I wouldn't trade you for the world. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you, you're funny, you're lively. That's Jessica. Right. Uh, That's so. I love it, man. I don't. Ooh, dude. Boys are great. They don't need to live forever. Did you Did you play any sports when she was younger? Like, did uh, she... she had asthma real bad, like her mother. She played softball. I played mm -hmm. softball too. That was my sport. Yep. I feel like her. we're the same people. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Taught her to everything. Everything that I 
I learned in baseball. Yeah. Softball, yeah. She started when she was real little. Uh, no, uh, uh-uh. uh, no, uh, no. She was. Everybody wanted Jessica <laughs> when she was younger. My parents, the in-laws, really? Donna's girlfriends. If they wanted, if they were going to Alaska, Jamaica, they would take no her. No way. Yeah. We're still trying to go places that Jessica <laughs> <laughs> already. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that's really funny. That's the funny part, yeah. Like, she had more friends than you did, I guess. Is that, <laughs> is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> exactly. You know, Donna's girlfriends, they, they would want to take her in. She was the only child and all that good stuff. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's really funny. That's good, though. I yeah, think she was able I to get her. Yeah. <laughs> I really do. That's my... Mm, I know. My <laughs> that's I feel like that's how that's how my parents feel too because like I'm I'm like an hour and a half like away from home and it's like mm. that was like just as far as I was allowed to go my mom was like like she'd let me if I really wanted to go anywhere like she'd let me but when she found out that I was like picking Cabrini she was like mm. oh thank goodness it's only like an hour and a half away like it's not that far like if I ever if I'm ever like needing you you can definitely like come home and visit so just was obvious she wasn't going too far yeah <laughs> no daddy I'm not going too far uh, the funny part was when she was in Silver Springs, Maryland. I, why did I forget the name of that college? <laughs> and um, she had a couple asthma attacks because you know how you're on your own, you're yeah. experiencing. And she would overdo it. Mm-hmm. And then we would, like you said, take that three-hour ride up there to her every week. Wow. And then we finally caught on homesick. <laughs> <laughs> but then we start curtailing it off, and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden, oh, she had another attack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so did she? Did she stay there all for? Uh, she, yeah, that was her first college, mm-hmm. three year college, something like that. Mm-hmm. It was a small seven year vintage college. Oh wow! And then they didn't have all her what curricula? Oh yeah, yeah, that she wanted. Yeah, then she came back to Pennsylvania and went to Harcum. Wow! And went and took it from there now. She's going for her bachelor's at Westchester. Yeah. Daddy never knows, so you have to ask Don. Yeah. <laughs> I always say, so, 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 no, Daddy, that's not, I, what, you change your, uh, yeah. You, you can't keep up sometimes, <laughs> like, we keep uh, changing our minds, exactly. right? Exactly. I'm the last to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind, but I'm like, only thing that I truly don't want to see is when you're holding their hand. Yeah. Or, uh, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. <laughs> Do that someplace that's, else. Yeah, if my daughter, I'll murder you, pal. <laughs> I was tough, but then I learned, you know, from other people and Donna, you got to back off. You got to live your own life. I always thought that because I live my life. Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness gracious. I know, but it's it's different, though, you know? It's, like, different from, mm-hmm. you know, how it was back then and, like, yeah, how, how it is now. That responsibility. It's not that you're, just because you're female, you're frail and all that. I let you learn, get your bumps and scrapes. I'm the daddy. You're my responsibility. Yeah, right. Touch her. Yeah, and there's, I had to back off from that. I yeah, really did. and there, but there's just there's just something about like the like a father and like a like and like the one girl. Do you know what I mean? Like the mm-hmm. one daughter that's like different than I don't know. Yeah. It's a different relationship. I don't go to bed until she's in this house. Yeah. Same with Donna. Three, four o'clock in the morning. You're still up. You got that right. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be standing right there at the door at the time. Just, just waiting. Just waiting, yeah, and make sure they're safe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you do, you, so, but you're definitely happy that you ha- that you had the girl. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> do you think it's, Do you think it changed you at all a little bit? Oh, yeah. How do you think How do you think it changed you? Oh, <laughs> uh, I was never a womanizer, but uh, to me, I was one. I was, I was quiet, but military brought it out of me. I'm like one of those guys. So they tell me. A wink and a smile. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it. <laughs> so, just, give, uh, just give them that little yeah, bit, flirt a little uh, bit. <laughs> but, that's, but that's just the shipment in me. Because a lot of my uh, father's brothers are like, hey, my dad. <laughs> so it's not, it's, uh, most women say it's flirty. But I just, to me, it's a way to break the ice. Yeah. Make you feel relaxed. And right. You already know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? It comes out. Yeah. It just flows. So now since you have your, you, now since you have your daughter, you like, do you like look at that like with like other guys, like if other guys oh, are doing that too? I'm more <laughs> I look at other fathers like, don't you do that with your child? Don't you make that mistake? I say it to myself because 
I'm not the one to tell people what to do. That's your child. You're going to have to bring her up the way you mm -hmm. see fit. Yeah. But I let Jessica go like I did. I had all the reign in the world. Yeah, so your your parents gave you a lot of a lot of room to do, to I do what you want? I did most of myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still And that's that when now. you got those whoopings, right? Yes, indeed. <laughs> all the way up to 16. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like I said, I wouldn't know how to sit here and talk. I would, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I be too busy trying to hit on you because <laughs> I didn't know any better because I was under the tight rain. But no, I did what I wanted to do in life. Yeah. I really did. I went where I wanted to go, did what I wanted to do, seen the people that I wanted to see. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have no regrets. <laughs> do you think that, do you think that Mount Pleasant, like living here in this small community, like helped you to be able to do that, to be yes. like independent and stuff like yes. that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. I was a free spirit. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, like was all your fam was all your family like that? Oh no, no, no just you, just me. <laughs> you were the little, the little outcast, the little. <laughs> yeah, because uh, let me see, my mom and dad are Capricorns. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother Michael and Ricky are Gemini's, and my oldest brother Joseph got rest his soul, and my sister Valerie are um, Libra. I'm the yeah. only Virgo. Wow, you're all, yeah, you're all by yourself. <laughs> yeah, so that gave me plenty of time to do what I wanted to wow. do. Wow. Yeah. That's really yeah. funny. Everybody, everybody has like their little their little partner. Yeah. And you're just all by I'm yourself. By myself just, sitting here, like, just okay, chilling. Don't we'll talk to me now. <laughs> Well, like, oh, I got better things to do. I see a house down there. I'm going. <laughs> Whether it's full of girls, full of guys, I'm going. I just wanted to see who lived there. Yeah, you were yeah. just like this little social butterfly, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you can say that. That's yeah. the way I did it. I don't care I didn't know you. <laughs> I lived down the street. Yeah, right? Is that um, how it was in like high school too? Like were you, were you like really talkative in high no, school? No, I was still you... quiet then. Really? Yeah, but I would talk to you because we were friends mm -hmm. and you knew me. Yeah. But as far as a new girl would go, we're eating ice cream, it would drip all down. <laughs> You know what I mean? I couldn't eat in front of you. Oh, I couldn't eat in front of girls. No. I was, wow. Well, in the senior year when I was 17. Yeah, spaghetti with drip on shirt. <laughs> oh, I couldn't do anything. Take pancake, it would fall off. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah it was, What's the matter with you? You get out and play sports, but you can't say boo to me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's like, it's just so like. You're you're quiet to everybody else, and then like the friends that actually know you, like mm -hmm. know that like you can be like loud and you know and funny and stuff yeah, exactly. like that. Exactly. Uh, and then the military brought it all out because you in the military you needed to answer for everything. Mm -hmm. Why were you late? Oh man, because I was being lazy. That wasn't acceptable. Yeah. I was like I was in the bathroom, man. I was in the bathroom. <laughs> so were you were you in the were you in the army yes. or yeah? Mm -hmm. Love that too. Oh man, that's where I wanted to be. Really? Yeah, I just didn't become a lifer because in the seventies, uh, there was a lot of conflicts waiting to blow off, like the hostage thing with um, uh, the Ayatollah in seventy seven. Mm -hmm. I was about to be a part of that, but they took me off because I was getting short. And I was in Frankfurt, Germany, wide eyed, seventeen year old. At that time, it was the richest wow. city in the world, and it was like mind blowing. What? What? Like what? Oh. Uh, it was expensive. Really? <laughs> Frankfurt was very expensive. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah in the, even in the 70s, it was expensive. Really? Yeah, everything. Like, how we'd stay in a hotel around here, like, uh, what, the Ramad? No, what's that? Uh, the Sheraton? Mm hmm uh, What is it, 89 or 106 a night? It was more than that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Even in the 70s in Frankfurt. Did, um, and, wh where else did you go over there? You know, just uh, I was at all five borders. Oh, okay. We had to fool the border, the bomb hold the border, all the borders. Uh, some of them you would actually see war games going on. Wow. Just like they, you would see on TV when they show you across the fence. Yeah. yeah you can look down the valley and there they are. And you would, we were riding by and I said, hey. <laughs> and they said, oh, don't worry about it. It's just the guard. The Russian guard patrolling his side of the fence. They would go north. We would go south or east or west. Wow. Uh-huh. And other than that. Oh, man, the, the, the mind-blowing thing was, I'm 17, oh, I'm pulling nice, attractive women. Mm -hmm. They're 17 years old, too. Because <laughs> the legal age was 17. Yeah. Nothing like over here. <laughs> no, yeah. definitely not. Had a lot of experience and stuff over there. Yeah. It was fun. It was real fun. Did you, do you, like, still keep in contact with anybody that, like, from, like, your, from your army days or... The economy slowed us down again. Yeah. yeah. And everybody went from landlines to cell phones. 
Yeah. And when they went to cell phones, it kind of died out because everybody's changing. Mm -hmm. Their numbers are changing all the time. It kind of fell out. Mm -hmm. But every now and then, I get a phone call or a letter. Wow. Mm -hmm. Did you know you wanted to do, like, coming out of high, you knew you wanted to go into the... Why did, why did you want to go so, why did you want to go so bad? Oh, I love cowboy pictures and army pictures. I love them all. Got them all, too. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, and I knew that's what I wanted to do. Wow. It was between driving trucks and tanks. Yeah. Uh, and then I heard in the wintertime, mm, tanks can get cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so it's like, no, 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 no. Right, so I decided to drive trucks. And how how many years did you do? It was three years. Three years? Yeah, because I was telling you before that, I was getting short. And they had all the guys that were strung out over in Germany. They weeded all of them out. Mm -hmm. So we can all go over to Iraq without being, if you get taken prisoner and they found out you're a junkie, you talk. Oh, that kind of thing. So wow. they got rid of them, yeah. Wow, that's mm -hmm. really interesting. It is. It was shocking. I mean, he's a junkie. I didn't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. A lot of them were sleepy looking. You know, they were heroin at that time when heroin was hot. Yeah. yeah. Feel like, actually, I feel like I, I feel like I knew that. Mm, I don't it's know. It's crazy. <laughs> Wait, because what, what war was going on at that, like around then? It was... It was a hostage conflict, and after that, it was uh, the one they call Heartbreak Ridge with uh, right, 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 with uh, God, and where's the head? I forget his name. Oh, jeez, I cannot remember his name. Gaddafi. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. At that time, before that, it was all uh, smaller stuff in Africa and all that. Yeah. Stuff that when the UN was powerful, <laughs> nothing like the art now. Yeah. Other than that, life. Glad I'm out in the way. Because uh, I wanted to be a lifer in the military. Uh, you had to go by protocol, and they got me out. I wanted to be a brake security truck driver, but at that time when I got out in the 80s, uh, the Russians were robbing and shooting and stealing. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, when they were uh, blowing up banks and, uh, and uh, kidnapping uh, security truck driver, brakes drivers. Yeah. So then my cousin, two weeks later, after I was ready to go to work for the Brink Company, my cousin uh, came up and said, hey, Larry, I need a partner. <laughs> so I started driving trucks with him at American Environmental Center. Yeah. Did you, did you, like, do you think that, like, you wanted to do that because, like, when you were younger, like, you worked for, like, the birds and stuff like that, and it's, like... The, the army pictures. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I came out a pretty strict troop, too. Yeah? Yeah, I came out with, what is it, uh... Oh, uh, boy, was it 9,900? Uh, no, I had more than that. That was just uh, what I came out with. 70,000, some, uh, un, you know, accident, free mileage. That was wow. a big thing in the military. Um, seven, uh, uh, appreciation, 11 accommodations. Wow. And I came out with the driver's wheel. Wow. Yeah, all in three years. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really did my thing. I enjoyed it. That's yeah. why it was great to me. What'd you what'd you like what'd you like about it though? Just being the regiment of it all, the old school, you they you knew they had you. Yeah. Twenty four seven. It was like, okay, after work, you do your thing, but in the back of your head say, Don't get too drunk, don't do this because mm -hmm. you know you gotta go to work or you'll be called for an alert. Cause um what I was saying by a strike troop. We drove for the company, you know, the Abrams company, like the tank, mm -hmm. the Colonel General Abrams. Yeah, same building. They uh, took a chateau over there, and that was his headquarters. Oh. Yeah, I was in Frankfurt. It was interesting. I got to drive for uh, Haig his last three months because I was, he was from Haver, I mean, Malvern. I was from here. Oh, really? And Wayne, yeah. Wow. He's, seen, he's seen it on the, um, on, on the uh, list of new drivers. Really? <laughs> yeah, so I got a good promotion. Uh, when you wear the uh, armband, it's only a temporary promotion because his driver was going, you know, in the States, mm -hmm. and he was even another driver, so I filled in. So from where you were from, that, like, that yeah. like helped you out? Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. Well. yeah, it's great when, you know, officers know where you're from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes things a lot easier for you, too. Um, coming from coming from high school, did, like, a lot of people go into the military? Was that, like, a big thing At my like time, that yes, then? yes, yes. Yeah? But I went active duty. A lot of them went National Guard. What, so the, what's that? I don't really know exactly uh, what that like really means. You go to boot camp. You do your old whole six, eight, twelve weeks uh, training, and then you go back to your job and you go in for the weekend once a month. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. But so, like, were your parents, like, were, like, what about your mom? Like, was she upset when yeah, you said yeah, that you wanted to go? Yeah, because my oldest brother, like I said, I did everything he did. He went in in 75, I went in in 77. Wow. Mm -hmm. So your mom was, your mom was upset? She didn't yeah, want you to go? Yeah, especially me going to Germany. <laughs> my brother was just in Fort Hood, Texas. Um, yeah. Did your, did your dad, like, was he, like... Like, you know, like the, the proud father, like my son's going off to. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I think so, yeah. But my dad's the nervous type, too. Yeah. Mm, he's the big detective wolf, too. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, like that just comes with just the, the neighborhood, too. Like, I feel uh -huh. like, I, I think, like, I don't want to, I'm going to say it, she's going to hear this anyway, but I feel like I kind of understand, like, the point to, like, doing, like, these interviews sometimes, because, mm -hmm. like, just from hearing just the stuff that you're saying, and, I, you know, I, I feel like I relate to you in some, in some ways, because, like, I come from, like, the small town, mm -hmm. too, and, you know, I just feel like, our personalities, like, it definitely got shaped from where, from where we came from, you <laughs> know, you and, like, I really don't think, uh -huh. like, some people think that, like, you know, you get, bo you, you know, you're born somewhere, and then you, you go off, and you, you do other things, and, like, where you come from, like, didn't affect you, exactly. but, like, it really does. Yeah, it really does. It does. Thanks, Dr. Shorzy. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but that's what I'm talking about. Like, for, you know, you, some people are stiff and rigid, and they're like, okay, I'm looking off over here. Mm -hmm. But I'm into the interview. But the way we'll, we're comfortable, and that's the way I like to make you feel comfortable. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like that's just how people need to be, like, like all the time. Because some, yeah. some people were a little, were, like, I guess like nervous and like I was only nervous just because I've never I've never interviewed somebody you know but um they're just apprehensive about like like talking to older people and then like talking to them about like about there certain <laughs> certain issues though certain issues though too just like about like the you know about racism sometimes too and it's like mm. why why would they want to listen to like this little like this little white kid from college like coming up and it's like yeah it's, in it's, the black neighborhood yeah, yeah, yeah and like it's yeah. not it's not really about that though it's just like it's you don't have to. You don't have to be the same. You know, you can still have like a civilized conversation exactly. about certain things, exactly. like because it all it affect it affects all of us too. Like it's still racism. Like as much as like I hate to say it, it affects me too. Like in school, and it's crazy. I don't, I'll tell the truth. I don't get it. Yeah, because you never know who your friends are being like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just, it was just a, it was just a big shock too, just from like what I'm used to in my neighborhood, just coming here too. It was like, cause all, all my boyfriends, like the, the boyfriend that I had for three years, Maurice Doman, like, and I came here and then everybody was like, that's your boyfriend? And I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I've been dating him for three years. Like I've known him my whole life. And like right before that, Gary Klein, like I've known him my whole life too. And I said, oh wow. And I was like. Yeah, like it's not a, like I didn't know it was such an issue mm -hmm. until like you come yeah. to like a pl like a place like this. Mm -hmm. This is what that's why I asked you um if like there was a, if you ever had like any not any problems I guess but like noticed any like not racism but like mm -hmm. differences like coming coming to school here and stuff like that like no, uh, no 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 not until wait, what was it seventy six when I was a junior no seventy seven when I was a junior. Uh, we started getting a lot of the, um, well, yeah, transfer students. Mm -hmm. And two of them happened to be from South Africa. Oh, and yeah. And they came in with that attitude. Mm -hmm. And that didn't upset anybody. Like, our white friends got them straight on a lot of stuff. Yeah. The people from the South and the, uh, out of the Bible Belt, mm -hmm. you know, Nebraska and all that. Yeah. Had to get, we didn't go, oh, we're going to beat you up. What are you doing around here? Our white friends got on the street. We grew up with these guys. You like them where you don't. Know. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's why, because it's like, I guess it's just from people like, where, really, where you do grow up. Like, if you don't grow, if you don't grow up like in a place that's diverse, and you and mm -hmm. you know other people, when you when you see other people, you're like, what am I like? Why? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't exactly. know them. I'm not. I don't understand. <laughs> and I was like, uh -huh. and I as you know. found out, not too many people take the time to explain it either. It's like, how long have you been around here? Yeah. Jeez, I just moved around here. Yeah. You know. Until you're a regular, because a lot of folks still call Donna an outsider. Really? <laughs> Even though we've been around here 20 years. Wow. So, uh, 16 years. Wow. Yeah. How long is it going to take? <laughs> like, <laughs> 16 years said. is a long time. Well, that's what Donna said, yeah. Wow. Mm. I guess it's just different because you, technically, you've been here. Yeah. forever mm -hmm. but she should just count because she's with you you know what i mean like yeah, she should yeah, just, she, she should just count it should be your her years plus your years combined uh, it should be even longer and, and, you know? when and when we're dating they all knew her. they all knew her mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the funny part but when it comes because donna's into politics oh yeah 
I've always politics liked it, but I never could get into it because nobody really explained it, or I never got into it right. like she did. Not to make it, you know, long mm-hmm. story short, and uh, that's what. I knew I wasn't the front man. <laughs> That's why I back her and she's doing great. Yeah. And uh, to cut that uh, long story short, is politics out here? Mm-hmm. They expected me to say something, not Donna. Yeah. But yeah. And so they all come to me when it's Donna you should go to. Right. I'm talking about the men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just, it's it's changing now too. Like it's not, because it's not even about, it's not even just all about racism too. Yeah. It's about like gender and stuff like that too and how... And it's in this neighborhood is still the same way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're a woman, you can do what you wanna do. But when it's business, sit there keep your mouth shut. Really? Yeah. Is it like is that like with all these towns or just do you think Just this neighborhood. Just this neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. That I can speak for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think- mean it's not a bad thing because that's what you're used to. Mm-hmm. These guys are older. Like I said, fifty six my neighbor's a great guy. I think he's what sixty five, sixty seven, something like that, and that's the way they grew up. Yeah, it's just like an an older generation, just like mm-hmm. an older tradition that like. And believe it or not, uh, we have olive oil. It's the same way. Really? I don't want to do business with Donna. Well, Donna knows what the problem was, but they'll look at me. I don't know the problem. Yeah. So we figured it out when we were five years. When you do business, you do business with Donna. Don't bring Larry into it. Yeah. You do business with Larry, that's. Kept it that way because that's I think it's just quicker just to go right to the right yeah, to the source. Like, why do you have to me, go? I'm scratching my head. Oh, like, no, man. That's what my dad. My dad says too. My dad because my dad's like the the quiet type. You know, I feel like I feel like you are. You know, you are a little bit more energetic than he is. He's mm-hmm. just one that's just like just sits. He just he's one of those sit back and watches that's watches kind of I thing. Am you know, when we're not having a conversation. That's just what I do. Boom, yeah, right. When I was dating Donna, and that's just what I give me a certain seat at the bar. Yeah, you just sit there and people and people yeah. watch, right? Because uh, I love that course we took uh, the body language in the in high school. Yeah, yeah wow. I love that course. I took that one seriously. Yeah, yeah. What were you, what were you like interested uh, in, like studying in school? Like, oh, history. Oh, I love history. And yeah. Now the body language. Another that before this came to town, I was in in massage and. Really? Oh, that's my wife, and I wanted to take care yeah. of her. Yeah. Uh, see, I like the hokey thing. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> I learned to cook, because uh, back, what was it, 71, we got out of elementary. Because all my friends grew up to be giant. Six, really? seven, six, five, six, You're the four. only one that didn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they couldn't cook. You know how you want to play, or half a day you want to play hooky. Mm-hmm. And so we all go in there, man, I'm starving. Mm-hmm. It's like, man, what your mom got? You know, what's in the refrigerator? Yeah, let's whip something up real mm-hmm. quick. And that's what I would do, yeah. And then I got good at it and then start cooking some dinners at the house. And, mm-hmm. But, you know, mom, mom had to do the cooking. And then I learned, took courses in home ec when I got to Valley Forge. Yeah. And then I really got good. A couple of my friends, Harvey Brown and a couple of Mary Tillman, these are their names then, Mary's Mary now. Mm-hmm. And, um... They taught me how to do the things I couldn't do, pies and bacon. Yeah. And then I started going Mediterranean when I got wow. out of the military in the army. Do all that cooking, all for my wife. Wow! See the front of me, the woman don't even like <laughs> that kind of food. I, ah, you killed me! You killed me because I was supposed to pay for her, which I do. Yeah, and right. The best of my ability. Uh-huh. You know, just take care of uh, the things you like to eat. Boom, I'll make it for you. <laughs> things in your happy hour. Boom, I can make it. Yeah. Hey, the woman don't even like it. <laughs> <laughs> she's VSQ, and now she's she was Pina Coladas. Now she's one of them Hawaiian drinks. Uh, the Bahama Mamas? Is that it? Is it a Bahama Mama? Uh, it's l- the, what is it? The, the rum out of the blue bottle and pineapple. I think that's, or that's. It's, it's no. I was the only other the only other like fruity tropical drink I know is a tequila sunrise. But if it's the Ooh, rum, I can't handle that. If, it's a, if it's rum, then it's a Bahama and it's a Bahama mama. Okay, it's something like that. You, you can ask her when she leaves. Wow. Yeah, that's what her and Jessica drink. I'm a I'm a Michelob man, classic yeah. <laughs> and a martini gin dry. Wow, <laughs> shaken or stirred, just don't kill me with the vermouth. It's just the 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 funny thing is because the Bahama mama, both my parents. That's what they would drink all together all the time, hey. all the time. That was their that was their drink. Anytime they went out somewhere, Bahama Mama would pull them. Right. That's what they drank on like their first date. So like they just keep they just keep drinking it. I don't. It was our first date. Whoa. Yeah, she had a VSQ. I tried it. It was hard. Yeah. <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> Do you remember what you did on your first date? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, one of those thugs. Ah, oh, what did we do on our first date? Let me see, there were so many in between the yeah, little right. dinner dates. Oh, we were friends for a long time, for three years, and they were just dinner. But our first date date was Donna took me, what was it, my 20, 25th birthday. Yeah. Uh, when the Midloo and Penn, well, Penn Atlantic's still hot before all the concerts were coming. Mm -hmm. The Midloo was the big attraction. She oh, took okay. me there for my birthday. Oh, yeah. Oh, Man, she had this shocking pink uh, dress, <laughs> uh, the shocking pink stockings with the hearts on yeah. it, and the pink shoes, and the pink purse, because Donna came from a family, you know, where her mother and her aunts took care of her with pocketbooks, matches, uh -huh. you know, and uh, she had, oh, man, it was like, she was looking right. <laughs> Country boy, what am I going to do with this thing? <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, we got there and everything was fine. Mm -hmm. and we had, uh, I always, I'm a seafood man. And so I had, the, I think, the set, the surf and turf or the captain, something. Mm -hmm. Donna loves steaks. Yeah. Yeah, her and Jess got steaks. Yeah. I'm not too thrilled on steaks. I'm a seafood guy. No. <laughs> They're like, okay, a piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Eat some clams and some oysters and yeah. all that good stuff. and nice piece of fish it all tastes different yeah yeah so when you when you had Je when you had jessica were you in this house no we were staying at my mom at the time oh okay yeah we were looking for a house yeah uh and that's before we moved into the city yeah out, out here uh things were going to the teachers mm. they, like teachers were getting first priority yeah and so they bumped us out a lot so we moved in the city came back out here and then we got this house jessica was born in Bremar. oh okay Right after the Super Bowl with Washington, was it Washington and, uh, and uh, when Doug Williams won the Super Bowl, put Don into labor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was jumping up and down, go, 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 and the next thing you know, oh, oh no, actually, no. we actually have to go. <laughs> and uh, let me see, that day, we called, she called the doctor, everything was fine, bring her in, when she was, what, three centimeters, and... She said, I'm ready. So, okay, Mr. Cool, I got up instead of, uh, took a shower. Yeah. <laughs> got up, got her dress, got everything ready. And we got there, uh, what was it, 1130, because it was from here to Bryn Mawr. She was fine. Everything was fine. Everybody's running stop signs around here as usual. It yeah. was snowing. Got her in there. She was ready right off the bat. Really? Mm -hmm. Didn't have to wait long? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Once in there and got her in there and they checked her out, pulled her into the room. We, okay, Donna. She grabbed my hands. Ah, Donna. And then, okay, then they put her up in the stirrups and breathed on. I'm patting her. She's up the storm. And uh, they wheeled her into the uh, room. What happened after that? Oh, okay. Breathe down. Stuff. And uh, she was doing that fine. And uh, what was it? All of a sudden, she said, okay, uh, she did her business. I thought she was coming out. But she did her business, and it clogged her nose and her throat. Really? And then the next thing you know, which is like, I'm up here patting her down, breathing. There was the nurse and the one that does the thing, mm -hmm. and there was the doctor down there. <laughs> Next thing you know, the place was full of doctors. Really? It was like, I had to let my doctor in there. I'm saying, like, everybody's down like this. I'm like, man, what's going on down there? <laughs> and uh, then, then her shoulders, and they got it to the point where just her head, that's a boy. Because <laughs> Jessica looked, what well, she looked like both of us. Yeah. And at that time, she did look like me. They cleaned her nose out, cloud it. And uh, she has big shoulders like Don and I, so mm -hmm. it kind of did her thing down. Yeah. <laughs> got to be fresh. And um, she came out, and they got her up, and next thing you know, they were all like this, ready to grab. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Just like in the movie. Yeah. And then she was all born, and I mean, you know, she was born, and I'm like, what, what are you doing to me? Right. <laughs> You're the daddy. <laughs> I'm like, okay, sit down. Yeah, but I'm going to drop her. What am I exactly, going to do with her? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And, uh... What else happened on that part? I sat down. They came and did her, too. She was 9 out of 10 as far as skin color went. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, well, she has a nice line. 
Really? Yeah, nice dark line. Like wow. her mother has a line too. Wow. Uh huh. And uh, they got her, and right after that, the phone started ringing. Oh, from your from everybody. <laughs> from Georgia to Buffalo to Virginia, everywhere, everywhere. We're on. They say they didn't have that many phone calls in years. Like wow. That. Yeah, we can. Everybody that. wanted to know. Everybody, yeah. Wow. They shot off fireworks. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> Yeah, because it was his first granddaughter. Because, you know, the other ones were grandchildren except for one, and they all would run to my mom. Mm -hmm. Grandkids ran to dad. Yeah. My dad, yeah. Well. So it was cool that way. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And the rest is history. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's why my mom, I live, um, I told you my town is, like, really, really small. So it's, but it's jam, I swear, it's so tiny. But it's jam-packed with so many things. We've got in the two square miles, mm. you know, there's so, it's like the most dense, densely populated town, like in like our county oh, or something, right. like it's so many people. But we've got the hospital, the jail, the police station. Mm. Have you been listening to us? Uh-uh. What's, oh. what's the drink you're drinking now? Is it a Bahama Mama? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. Oh, Malibu. Malibu, um, what did you just say? The Malibu Ron? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> we were we were talking about um, I forget we were talk we were talking about the drinks and he said it was a new fruity one and I said is it a Bahama Mama? I because we've sure. been we've been making so many connections how because I'm an only I'm an only child too and as we're going through the stories and you guys are like the same age as like my parents too and I'm 20 so like but there's so many things that you guys do I'm like. Crap, my parents do that too. I do that too. Like, there's so many similarities, and both my parents they drink Bahama Mamas, and that's the that's like their that's like the two of them. That's their drink. That and my favorite, well, is pina coladas. Yeah, he had said he had yeah. said that too. Yeah. But, but he said that was the new one, and I said, don't tell yeah. me it's Bahama Mama. I was like, are you guys yeah, my see, parents? I never knew, because like, so Jessica would always explain what was in it. I never knew the name. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we used to, yeah, we would make, like, we'll have a, a yard party, and mm -hmm. the neighbors would come, and, and we'll try different drinks. Mm -hmm. like, one, sure wasn't burning. one would be, like, like we have a big container of lemonade mm -hmm. yeah. and gin. The next mm -hmm. one would be um, uh, the cranberry spritz of the vodka. And the oh yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we used to love that. That used to be our drink. Mm -hmm. Then the fruit, we put uh, tropical fruit in with um, Hawaiian punch mm -hmm. and rum. Wow. Yeah. And we would have to treat you right. Yeah, yeah treat I can't right. really, I can't really speak yet because I'm 20, right? So I don't, <laughs> I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so the, biggest, the biggest thing was for us to get used to our daughters being of age to drink. I'm like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so she, a couple of times, she invited her friends and all. They behave. And I told her, I said, because I said your father's old school, so you don't want him getting upset. You don't want me turning into a Philly John. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, the day. Yeah. Did you tell about South Meets North? Which part? How we met. About our wedding. No, we didn't get that far yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna go there right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's about 300 guests. Yeah. But most of it, uh, his father is one of 13. My mom is, is young as 12. Wow. So it's north meets south. <laughs> and you know how they say the, they don't like them damn Yankees? Uh-huh. And don't like them country. <laughs> That's the way it was. Yes. We sent out one invitation down south we, to one family, Mr. and Mrs. It's sponsored back for what, 19? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Number was 2330. I was like, don't don't they know about protocol down there? Because <laughs> that's when we had the uh, debate about North Meat South. Yeah. 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 yeah, I was a city slicker. And mm -hmm. Yeah, she, 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 she was, yeah, they told her she was a city slicker. Yeah. yeah I was after uh -huh. the money. That's all. <laughs> yeah, when we went to North Carolina, yeah, she was after <clears throat> my money. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was great. Let me see. We had a big wedding. Big yeah. Wedding. Did you? And you? It seems like you didn't mean to have a big, big wedding, or as big as it, no, as big as it turned out to be. Or you? It's you, traditional all the way. Father-in-law paid for it, mm -hmm. so I have to pay for it, of course. Yeah. And uh, let me see. No, you know, Donna was the only, her only daughter, and some girls, you know, don't part. You know. Socialize with girls because mm -hmm. of the, right. the gossip and the pageant yeah. of it all. And that's Donna. 
And uh, so, what was it? My side was easier. Donna had to get her girlfriends and co workers. It was 18. What's that? In the wedding? Yeah. 20. 20. <gasps> the, the, um, As your bridesmaids? My, my bridesmaids and my flower girls and I had a window. Yeah. And her rainbow. Mm -hmm. You said 20. Mm -hmm. uh, seven boys, seven girls. Mm -hmm. Then I had th uh, two flower girls, a ring bearer, and then my brother walked my mom down. Wow. Yeah, it was great. It That's was a great. lot of people. But you know what? <laughs> and we oh. had quite a few walk ins, too. Yeah. Yeah. On behalf of the shipmen, they're the nicest people you ever want to meet. Mm -hmm. I've met, you know, um, they welcome me in their home and everything. They yeah, don't I see what you did, man. Um, they make you feel right at home and a member of the family. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're, they're the best things that ever happen. And and a lot of people in this community recognize them as that. Yeah. They would do things like when um, Barry, um, family lost um, their brother. Mm -hmm. they, I was so amazed how the fa how this whole community came together. Right. For them, and normally they stored everything prior to that. I didn't think they really cared for, but when it, when it, when it happened, they all came together, and no one had to say anything to anybody. Yeah. So you know and. And to me, I always feel blessed that I, that I have a husband and family like him. Right. Because I hear a lot of people talk about um, different things going on, and I just come this July, it'll be 25 years for us. Yeah. So, you know, I feel blessed, uh, many folks, for having him and having his family and being a part of this community. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and Sharon, your, your professor, Sharon Schwartz, she's a good one, too. She's mm -hmm. a very caring person. And, um, she loves history and yeah. the fact that she'll stand up and fight for you, even though you don't think she is. She's a lot. She's sometimes a behind the scenes person, right? But she is mm -hmm. even for her students. Let me tell you, she's an advocate. Yeah, very good, strong advocate. Right, and she makes a point in a very soft voice. Yeah, <laughs> and I love her for it. That's just how she is. Yeah, well, I'll finish off on the on the wedding. Uh, what was it? The day before. You know, she was in, all the girls were in the city. We were out here at my hotel. Uh-huh. Um, so all the fellas, we had a good time. When my brother was in Norristown at the time. That's where the bachelor party was. Mm -hmm. I had one Dixie cup of wine and passed out. <laughs> yeah, I passed out. <laughs> I was looking at me, ah, yes, I did. <laughs> when she got there at 7.30, quarter, was it, quarter to eight, I was in Michael's bed like this. Really? Like, yeah, I was done. <laughs> wedding mm -hmm. so when we woke up you know everything's fine house full of family so you know you go in the backyard and just veg out as donna can say uh-huh five motorhomes <laughs> <laughs> five five you're like hey <laughs> you know your eyes focus yeah in. yeah well. and then after that it was wow my goodness buffalo came with uh you know the church vans they came with five full yeah, big family. <laughs> <laughs> big family. Uh, th uh, three of them were for the kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, oh my, my family were even big families. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Did you, now, were your were your parents or Donna's parents, like, were they, like, okay with you guys getting married? Like, they liked you guys? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. My sister is the youngest, and, you know, the four boys out of the second. My mom, you know how you, you think you can go talk with your daughter? Mm-hmm. Too much of a generation gap. Really? Donna came in, filled in the gap. They're like girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know, she can finally talk and, yeah. and stuff like that. And um, what else? When I was driving trucks and we were dating, uh, Donna would wait at my folks' house. Mm -hmm. And the, my folks are southern, and Donna from the city. You know how you talk, and you think you're talking real fast, but I know what yeah. you're saying. And that was my folks. We love Donna. What could you tell her to say? I can't understand. She talks so fast. Yeah. yeah. Always uh, such a problem mm. for me. Such a problem for me. I talk way too fast. Mm. And I, I feel like only only people from Jersey, too, can, like, sometimes understand understand what I'm uh, saying. Because I'm just like... <laughs> that's 
that's okay. That's just the way you are. You're either excited or still nervous. Yeah. So you're taking it there. You're not stumbling <laughs> over your words, and that's the best yeah. part. So other than that, yeah, I mean, it was great. Oh, my goodness. A <laughs> good time? about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're walking through... You know, after you do your first dance and you go this way and the wife goes the other way. And uh, we're walking. It's like, okay, I've got my beer. You know, I'm going to go beat everybody. Got my picture of beer. Get to the first table. Like, hey, how you doing there? I'm finally get to meet you. Must have been, what, 80, 90 tables in the place. <laughs> <laughs> so, Took you all you, night just to get to one side. Yeah, <laughs> you know, okay, you know, man, you know. I'll be back. I got to get some beer. Come back next table. Hey, how you doing? Like, oh man, I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, let me show you some love. <laughs> Left the beer at the table again. Go back. Third table. It was your wedding. You could do whatever you wanted to. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Oh, okay, seen you in years. Life is beautiful. Another picture left at the table. That was the way the whole thing went. And then, then the bartender said, "There." You stay where you are. You want the beer, I'll bring it. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Cause, uh, wow, they did the conga line, everything. <laughs> yeah, because my folks are usually stuff shirts. And my dad actually got up and led the Really? Thing. Yeah. My mom was like, uh, leave me alone, Joe. <laughs> yeah, but they were, everybody was happy, relieved, everything. We still have um, champagne and my dad said must be about 12 cases because they bought it all my dad bought all the whiskey my father and mom paid for the whiskey mm -hmm. and everything yeah. and uh they say they're saving it for i don't know champagne well <laughs> <laughs> yeah so wow i mean it's a long story you don't have that kind of time that's the kind we need to talk about <laughs> <laughs> yeah well in a couple months i'll come back here and we'll do just that <laughs> we're here we're here because we're only busy until uh my in-laws get their records updated Oh, yeah? Yeah, because we have custody of them there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Age is catching up to them. Yeah. Have you seen my, uh, uh, you seen my parents, haven't you? I don't think so. Okay, yeah. They didn't catch up to them rude mm. runners yet. <laughs> they, they travel. I can say, hey, Dad, where you are? Oh, son, I'm on my way to Virginia. <laughs> oh, we're down here in Uncle Ed. Say hi. Like, when did y'all leave? <laughs> and that's great, though, because now, like, when you get older, you're able to, like, you're able to do stuff like that, you mm -hmm. know? Like, you have the time to, like. Oh, you'll find out that. for yourself because you're not going to be a stump shirt. You're going to be just like us or your parents, believe it or not. Uh, That's the part that I couldn't believe until I actually sat down and sat at a fan reunion and checked out my dad. I'm not supposed to. I'm Larry. I'm the oddball. I'm not Joe Jr. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be the one like my dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my dad's like his dad. I'm like my dad. Wow. Same way. Wow. It's yeah. funny how it works out like that, too. Yeah. <laughs> Well. It is, so uh, your dad and them don't have to worry about you like I don't worry about Jessica. Because <laughs> you'll be fine. You got a good head on your shoulders. You still stand up. We're, ho we're hoping. We're mm -hmm. hoping. <laughs> no, life won't knock you down. Trust me. Life won't knock you down. You'll be fine. Thank you. You will. <laughs> you will because you got the attitude and mentality. I just think I'm really, I'm really like, it's baffling me like how, how close like, you guys are to my parents mm -hmm. and how like it's just so funny like softball with jessica you yeah. know what i mean like uh, i feel like we're the same people <laughs> and the other thing with jessica is that we went to another camp around here the two-week camp college settlement farm camp uh-huh so oh jessica don't you want to go to camp we went to, I, you know grew up okay daddy <laughs> Got one tick on her in her life. <laughs> I'm not going to camp and everything. I'm not going out in that woods ditch her out there. And then to find out um, she wanted to go one year. We're getting all ready. She discovered fingernails. <laughs> 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 and that's all she wrote. My daughter left me for her mommy. <laughs> I'm well, the lonely kid again. Yeah, I had Jessica for 12 years, just me and her on the weekend. Yeah. Going shopping. Mm -hmm. She want baby doll. Let's go get you a baby doll. You want to go shopping for clothes? Let's go shopping for clothes. That's why I always went with my dad because my dad was always like, I was like, Dad, can I get this? Sure. Sure, sure yeah, baby. Yeah, anything you, you want. Mm -hmm. yes. I always used, and he That's was right. he was the best. Even even as I go, you know, just a couple years ago when we would when I'd have to go school shopping, I'd go. I'd be like, Mom, can I uh can I go with dad, daddy? Why do you want to go with him? I was like, 
oh no, just because like he doesn't like make me like try on crazy things. Like he just he'll stand outside the store. <laughs> I go in and shop, mm -hmm. and I said. Okay, Dad, I'm ready. And then he comes in, he pays for it, we go. There you it's just go. easy living, you no, know? No, I don't stay that. I'm, I'm like this. <laughs> I got the clothes. I'm the yeah. clothes rack. <laughs> my dad, because sometimes, like, sometimes I'll I'll bring him in so he can, like, hold my, he always holds my stuff, but, yeah. like, he just, he's like, Becky, do your thing. Let me know when you need me to come in and Same pay time. for it. And I said, all right, I'll be right down. Because yeah. <laughs> according to us, we, according to Jessica, Donna and I have no color coordinate. I know I do. <laughs> Yeah, she'll tell you. I, I'm straight out the country. I used to wear white socks and cowboys. <laughs> yeah, I used to go right over to Cowtown Rodeo, right off 301 with Cowtown Rodeo uh -huh. in Delaware. Yeah, I used to go over to the boot place across from the Stetson Hat and get my boots made. Really? Yeah, and Donna didn't like them. My mom didn't like them. Hmm. I'd get a pair made, and it's like I come back from work and ready to wear them that Friday <laughs> with my boots. <laughs> they hit them. You're not allowed to wear those. You can't exactly. wear those around here. <laughs> They hit him, and then what was I think I was married three years, and I went to the closet in my mom's closet, and I found it. <gasps> no way. Yeah, my, the, <laughs> the boots that are like, ah, yes. <laughs> Black boots, red stitching, had my initials on them. Oh, dried out. <laughs> oh, I couldn't even get a hand in there to open up. Oh, my hot. goodness. I was hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's oh, too much. I love my cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give a ten cent. As long as my own arms and, and my feet didn't stink, I didn't care what I had on in them days. Because to me, like I said, with class, with the body language, mm -hmm. it was like, I didn't have to go, as they can say, be Mr. GQ. Now, I had my cool Flag Brothers shirts, my little yeah. nice JT Penny pants, and my Flag Brothers, uh, the heel, uh -huh. the, yeah, the platform. Yeah, I had them. I was cool. <laughs> But I wasn't worried about with the up-to-date clothes like my friend. Yeah. Because I could prove I could get the girl, not my clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, I was like that. And so, mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> then all things had yeah. to change, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. White shirt, tie. <laughs> uh, do I have to, Connor? <laughs> now I'm used to it. It doesn't bother me. I feel funny if I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's too funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's great. I hope I didn't slow you up too much. No. First of all, what else was I going to do oh, today? Okay, we, had I a got you. we had a great conversation, too. Uh, well, I literally, I swear, I'm just baffled by, like, how. Because I, I really do have to give Dr. Shorzy credit, I guess, just from, like, the inner, you know, like, doing this thing. Because I really. Did, I guess I did learn a lot. You know, like, you hate, to, you hate to say that, like, your teacher, like, proved you wrong, you know? But it's like, I guess she does know what she's talking about, I guess. Because. I don't know. I didn't really, I didn't really realize, like, I didn't know much, like, about this, about, like, the community and, like, how you guys know each other and stuff like that. Like, I didn't, I didn't know, so I was like, why, like, why are we, why are we coming here, you know? You I didn't understand, but this town is just, because my town's called Somerville. Hey. So it just, it, like, everybody's like, oh, Somerville, it's, like, so cute and, like, dainty, and I'm like, no, like, it's really not, but I mean, like. Oh, uh, it's not a Peyton thing I did, yeah. <laughs> That's an old you would call it Dynasty or something today. Yeah. With all the guys, yeah, back in their day, it was called Peyton Place, no drama. Yeah. Yeah. That's and if right. there was any drama, because Miss Margaret hit her son last yeah, night. Yeah, right? That kind of Cause stuff. Because mine was, um, um, mine was, like, in my town, it, uh,